Good morning, Ithaca Titans. This is Miss Williamson. And Miss Henson. Welcome to the morning news. Today is Friday, March 4th, 2022. At this time, please stand for a moment of silent reflection. Please remain standing for the pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may now be seated. The mission of Ithaca Elementary School is to inspire each student by providing a foundation for continued success. Our vision at IES, students are passionate about learning, which inspires their success. Yes, they are. Yeah. They are. Today, the weather is sunny and a high of 75 with a low of 50. We're going to get outside and play. Happy birthday to Chloe Holt today birthday, Chloe. and Miss Bias today. Oh, happy birthday, Miss Bias. This weekend's birthdays are Cameron Garrison, Matthew Gilbert, Braden Bonds, Logan Hovey, and Amari Smith. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Titans! Oh, your Super 16 reminder is never cut in line at Ithaca. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're responsible enough to follow the rules and being responsible means showing others how to behave. So make sure that you are being a good role model for others by never cutting in line. Good That's point, Miss Williams. Thank you. Readathon update. Miss Kreider's Ooh. class is in the lead. Taylor Wyndham is leading the way with donations and Nathan Hovey is our top reader. Ooh, get to reading, guys. Now it's time for Tag Your It's. If you hear your name, please go to the front office after announcements for your prize. Journey Thomas in Miss Montgomery's class. Oh, Kate Williamson in Miss Langford's class. Abby Cochran in Miss Bradley's class. Oh. Braden Bonds in Miss. Harris's class. Oh, great job, guys. And Nathan Makuro in Miss Turnipseed's class. Yay! Great job, Titan. Susan B. Anthony was a woman's rights leader in the late 1800s. She fought for equal rights for women and for women's suffrage, or the right to vote. In November 1872, Susan illegally voted in the election and was fined $100. She refused to pay her fine and spent time in jail as a consequence. The United States honored Susan by minting a coin called the Susan B. Anthony Dollar. If you'd like to learn more about Susan B. Anthony, check out some of these awesome books and resources about her. Remember, we use our heads to show we're responsible, our heart to, to show we're respectful, respectful, and our hands for positive action. This has been your Titan News Crew. Have a fantastic Friday and a wonderful weekend. It's go time and we are it. Hi, I'm Miss Langridge and I'm going to show you um, how to draw Susan B. Anthony. If you would like to try to draw with me, just grab a piece of paper and let's get started. I'd like to start her face with just a big circle. All right. Susan B. Anthony liked to wear her hair up in a nice bun if she didn't have on her hat. So we're going to do the bun like that. Going to give Susan some eyes. I'm going to give her some happy eyes. She was fighting for a cause. She was a determined person. And a little bit of eyebrows. A nose. Smile. 
and a little chin. If yours isn't exactly like this, that's perfectly fine. It's kind of an ish. Now, Susan did have lace, usually on the, the, her collar, on her dress. That was what they wore during those times. And then I'm going to draw one arm on one side, and I'm going to draw that with lace. And then on the other side, I'm going to have her holding a sign, so her arm might look really funny to you. And you can draw her arm straight down if you want, but I'm going to draw it at more of an angle so that she can hold her sign. And I'm going to put more lace there. Women during this time wore very long dresses all the way down to their feet. So there are her shoes. Going to give her some hands. They're not fancy hands, just some circles. Okay. What she almost always probably had on her dress too was buttons. And probably some sort of belt. Like I said, I'm going to have her holding a sign, and that's your choice. You can have her holding anything you like or nothing at all. I like to try to keep that angle. Now, she was always um, known to be at protests. She was protesting for um, women's rights, equal pay for women, because during her time, they we didn't get equal pay. Um, she was fighting for the right to vote because at that time only men could vote and have a say. So you can decide what you would like to have on your sign, but I'm also going to put a button, a pin for her to wear. Some people call it a button, some people call it a pin. And I'm going to have mine say, let women... vote. I'm not going to color mine today for you on the video. You can color it however you would like. I imagine that she would have pretty uh, patriotic colors. So you know patriotic colors are the color of the flag, the red, white, and blue. And that is Susan B. Anthony. All right, and like I said, yours doesn't have to look anything like that, um, Susan B. Anthony, but I hope that you at least enjoyed trying. Thank you.